right, babies, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. We're still feasting on yesterday's work. Thank you, Jesus. How do you know when you're hearing from God? Because when you apply it to your life, it transforms you instantly and sustains you simultaneously. That's how. <laughs> and that's how you know some things in the Bible are not the word of God because they don't do that. I know some of you Bible worshipers out there might say, um, well, maybe you're just not applying the principle appropriately uh, from the Bible. No, that's not a good try, though. And the reason why I say I, I dismiss that because as complex as God is, as... marvelous his mind is on so many levels he's not hiding himself in obscure um, <clears throat> what's the term um, anachronistic fables <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what he's interested in is where we are today how we are functioning how we are interacting with other people are we activating our faith are we loving as he loves appreciating the relationship we have with him by living in peace because we trust him because his love has been proven to us that's what he's interested in so anything else it's not the word of God <laughs> so stick with those things sweethearts Some of you already are, so you, you already know what I'm talking about. In fact, if you are, let me know so I can be encouraged by your uh, victorious life. Because we need to be that for each other. For each other. We need to be... <clears throat> food for each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus says, I have food that you know not, not of. Oh yeah, baby. And we have to stop separating ourselves from who Jesus is. Oh yeah. He came to bring us face to face with God. So that we could do the very things he did and does. <clears throat> That's called oneness. So we're ending the uh, school year have one more full day tomorrow, three half days, and then we have graduation. Oh yeah, baby. And 
then we get to enter into a period of rest where we can practice some of what we've been talking about without the interruption of constant foolishness that you get at work. So I think it'll... I like the summer for that reason, that it's this un uninterrupted time where you can focus on, you know, improving uh, my health, physical health, as well as my spiritual in kind of a more um, focused and creative way. Uh, I know a lot of people, they look at it in summers like, where are you going? What are you going to do? Are you going on vacation? Are you traveling? And all I'm thinking about is... get to September in one piece with a new car and a new body and a new mind and a new heart that's what I'm thinking of I would get back to you about Ken Wilber's lines. He's the uh, creator of integral theory. It's similar to spiral dynamics. And part of his theory are what he calls lines of development. And the way to look at those lines is, is kind of similar to Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences, if you're familiar with that. So it's kind of a similar thing, like we're all kind of gifted in our development in unique ways. You know, some of us are, have a musical intelligence, some emotional some spatial, some cognitive. Some of us learn better by hearing. Some learn better by uh, in a visual way. So all those different lines of development is what he tries to focus on and to see how they interact with each of the four quadrants of communication. So you have the, the perspective I, the perspective of we, the perspective of um, uh, nature, like what you observe, and then as well as systems within that natural observance. So I'm just kind of slowly refreshing uh, myself with his framework because I think it, it applies to what I've been teaching, which is that if we're really to honor God, we're to adopt his mind and because his mind works in such a multi-dimensional way, it helps to look at Ken's integral theory because that's the basis of it. And by doing that, it kind of helps us to celebrate the diversities in life of how people organically develop. And if we can see clearly that we can help 
build on strengths and be aware of challenges and sort of navigate our way through that matrix. <laughs> oh yeah, baby.